Hello again, everyone. Steve Chappell here, Director of Trading Systems Development at VectorVast, and I'm delighted to be the presenter this week for your special presentation. This one is titled, Making Money with Our Hot Stocks Watch List. So you guys have been clamoring for it. We've been producing these hot stock picks every night in our daily color guard reports and on a Friday giving you the top five picks for the week. And boy, everybody wants to be able to put a system around that. So I'm delighted to inform you that that's exactly what we're gonna show you how to do today. In fact, there are going to be two new trading systems available right now in Trading System Viewer. Boy, I tell you, they're going to be pretty impressive. There was a lot of buzz created around these systems when we uh, debuted one of them at the very recent Tampa Two Day Seminar, which ended up being, of course, a live stream, but been getting a lot of emails, a lot of questions. And so today we're going to show you where the system is and detail uh, the system so that we can get a lot of these questions answered and get you out on the right track. So, so let's get right into VectorVest and take a look. All right, so here we are uh, at the home page for VectorVest. Now, in order to find the systems, you know, first things first, right? We're going to go right up here to the viewers tab. From the viewers tab on the left, you should have trading system viewer as the second option there. Now, when you click on trading system viewer, by default, the systems are laid out in performance by one year and that's awful nice in this regard because these two systems are two of the top five uh, on the list for the one year performance and so let's detail these systems for you we'll start with the one at the very top and why not that's always a good place to start it says here daily hot stock picks portfolio and plp that's of course going to stand for profit locker pro we also are going to have daily hot stock picks portfolio using recommendation equals sell the very first stop loss vector vest ever deployed to our subscribers and so you'll have a choice between the two and we'll talk about some of the advantages uh, that either one has potentially over the other and detail that by way of the performance metrics you know you can't fight the facts uh, those are what they are right so let's start again here at the top now we do classify this as aggressive and so with aggressive systems, you're going to get substantial rewards when they're put together correctly. The interesting thing, maybe for some, is that we are going to deploy more of a prudent to conservative type timing model uh, in the confirm calls. So, but that's one of the first uh, things that's nice to know is what market timing and you know how active am I going to have to be in terms of looking at this thing every day uh, to keep up with. Uh, the trades that are going on there and of course we'll address that more and more as we get deeper into this presentation but as we slide further across here we can see over the last month and three months things have slowed down here a bit now one of the reasons for that as you'll see as we better detail the systems is this is really a long only portfolio uh, so we're not using the contra etf picks um, and you know we have better performance just going with the long picks on the long calls uh, by, the, by way of the confirm call. Uh, tremendous one year performance still. And so a lot of that was in the first three months then uh, of this, uh, or first nine months rather of this last one year. Uh, but here again, you can see with the spark chart that it's been very consistent. And I think that's gonna be eye opening. If we continue to slide across, Year to date, it's just slightly underwater. The annualized rate of return right now, though, is coming in at 93.5%, which is way up there. So with these hot stock picks, boy, I tell you, when we get them right, and we get them right a lot, uh, they can really fly up the page for you. And we'll see an, a very dramatic example of that with a particular stock as well. Uh, but if we look at the drawdown, I think this to be very impressive, at least so far with the performance that we've uh, got here uh, at only 13.4 percent so that's peak to trough on the equity curve and that is solid that's one of the better numbers in all of the list and when you start comparing that to rates of return uh, of course you know it's a very nice combination that's being achieved there so what can we do to dig into more of the detail on how this thing is performed and how it's designed 
the easiest way is to click on this trading system details button. And so when we do that, it'll pop open a web page. And then on that web page, it'll have a lot more performance metrics that we can look at here and a few other things. All right, so here we have the same one, right? The daily hot stock picks portfolio with ProfitLocker Pro. This trading system buys stocks from the hot stock picks watch list. The search removes contra ETFs, so only stocks to be purchased long will be added to this portfolio. Uh, this system buys stocks on confirmed ups and will not buy any stocks during confirmed downs. All positions will be managed using ProfitLocker Pro recommended stop loss. So that's the one that picks from the nine different ATR templates and applies it on an individual stock basis. So you can be running, you know, on a basket of 10 stocks, you could potentially be running nine different ATR stop losses depending on uh, the contents of those 10 stocks and how they stack up both uh, fundamentally and technically within VectorVest. So uh, taking advantage of that new stop loss is, is certainly nice to see. Uh, here again, you can see a very consistent uh, equity curve as the market has really peaked out. You know, this, uh, this system has held ground very, very well. And I think that's noteworthy. Uh, something to kind of pick out there where the, the market had our head and shoulders and we've really uh, been falling off down the page. Uh, this thing has held water pretty well, even though there are still stocks within it. And one of the reasons for that is when we're picking hot stocks, we're picking stocks that are going up the page. And that has led us to a lot of energy stocks you know, that reside within this portfolio. And that was even from back when the confirmed call, of course, was in place. We haven't bought any stocks since um, November because that we've been in a confirmed down, right? But when we look here, uh, some of the top performers right now are Enter Plus, Canadian Natural Resources, Cosmos Energy, you know, Encore Wire here up uh, marginally. But you can see the winners are still outpacing the losers and that's keeping uh, this uh, afloat uh, really in what's been a very turbulent and even downward market really since, you know, last November. Certainly there's been some ebbs and flows, but overall pretty nasty, right? So again, very nice uh, to see that. If we click this blue button up here at the top, that'll give us the, the rules. Before I do that, I kind of glossed over and skipped over some further metrics here. You can, you can dig into the one month, three month, six month, uh, year to date, one year and three year. Okay, so we haven't quite gone three years here. I think it's more in the, in the neighborhood of two. Uh, at this time, but all time, this thing is up 159% and the max drawdown all time is still a very respectable 16.9. Okay. Wonderful compounded rate of return. Total winning trades here of 91 and winning trade percentage of 54.9%. So nearly 55% winning trades, very, very respectable numbers all the way across the board here. You know, anytime you're north of 50, that's over a couple year period of time, that's uh, very, very respectable indeed. So uh, you can do well with just 40% picks if your money management is good. So very, very nice. All right. So if we slide back up here to the top, we'll go to the trading system rules. Uh, when I click on that, this will better detail exactly what's happening. So again, the trading system has two different sets of rules one for confirmed ups and one for confirmed downs, which we're currently in. So there's a nice little tag here letting you know we're currently in a, and still are in a confirmed down since last November. So in terms of trading, there's no actions to be done here. However, what this will do, and don't let this confuse you, is it will use the stop loss on the stocks that were picked in the up from the up situation. And so everything, even though there's no action, none, none, everything that's in the portfolio still has a stop loss on it and it's the recommended stop. So again, this will choose the appropriate stop based on the attributes of your stocks when they're added to the portfolio. Safe undervalued stocks rising in price will be given looser stops. Risky overvalued stocks falling in price will be given tighter stops. Okay, now when we get to more info, really a lot of this is the default settings. We are doing 10 stock basket. We are automatically replacing closed positions, but only in the confirmed up situation. And you know we're investing at the average value to stay dollar weighted, so odd lots are allowed there. Uh, this is a setting that needs to be made, which is 
don't repurchase the same stock for 31 days after sale. And really the advantage here is just avoiding situations where you would rebuy into the same stock. Uh, and so, you know, perpetually chasing a loser uh, can sometimes uh, be the case there. There's also some mild tax advantages to, to you know, avoiding things like a wash sale. I'm going to say that this rule here does not come into play all that often uh, in this type of a situation, if at all. Uh, but it is nice to have. And we also need to consider this one. When entering this situation, we're going to close any open positions. So even if we still have, say, three or four of the 10 stocks from the prior confirmed up in the portfolio, go you know through the culmination of a confirmed down and now are back onto the fresh signal of a confirmed up it's going to close those three or four stocks out and we're going to fill out a brand new basket of 10. so you reload on confirmed ups and both systems work the same way they're just using different stop losses so the difference between the two systems is really right up here one of them uses rec equals sell the other one will show in a minute and this one here uses Profit Locker Pro's recommended stop loss. Okay, so as we get on from here, let's really dissect that a little bit more. And some of you are more visually oriented. Uh, so I want to show you where all of this is collected within the program. So you have a better understanding of exactly what's happening. All right, so let me go over here into VectorVest. And first things first, we're using confirm calls. So if I come up to the timing tab, go to the market timing graph, down here at the bottom, you can place on the confirm calls. And so we're looking at the last one year. We're gonna be buying baskets of 10 stocks from the daily color guard report, 10 stocks published that night, and managing them with either Profit Locker Pro recommended or the recommendation equals sell. And so it's not until any of those stocks hit one of those stop losses that we get rid of it. The question then becomes, do we replace that stock? And we do, as long as you're still in that green area of a confirmed up call. We stop replacing when a down is issued. We don't close everything out. We just stop replacing stocks. And we also just let the stop losses knock us out, reducing and eliminating our exposure. So if the market turned over and just continually went lower and lower and lower down the page, eventually we'll be down to zero stocks, you know, zero positions. And so when you get into one like here, that's why some of the systems are down to just a very few stocks remaining, okay? All right, so hopefully that lays that part out very clearly. So we're buying stocks and we're buying 10 on a confirmed up. If there's anything still in the portfolio, when the confirmed up is issued that evening, we close those remaining stocks and get the brand new 10 in there. Then at all other times, we're just using the stop loss to manage the stocks, but we only replace in a confirmed up. So that's your summary. Okay, now as we get over here into VectorVest, I'd like, just like to take a quick bit of time and explain how we here as the team at VectorVest pick the stocks. You know, So if I come into Unisearch, we'll take you under the hood here a little bit. Uh, I'll come over here to the cherry picking and we've got a hot stock search. And so a lot of times we'll run through this search to see if there's any results that are found. Of course, in the midst of a violent down market, we're not gonna find all that many long stocks that are shooting up the page. Okay, so no stocks are currently being found today. If you go back a bit in time, of course, that would change. You know, if you go back to even October, let's take the up call on 1014. Aha, we talked about Enterplus being one of the top performers. And there's some good ones in that list. Okay. Some of which are still around, some of course aren't, some have been replaced, but that's how this works. Now, we also pick from just the top VST stocks within Stock Viewer. If we see some stocks in there, it's a cherry picking exercise that we kind of do as a collective group. Okay. And we also, from time to time, will even pick from just the Midas touch list, looking for those steady, persistent climbers there. And so it's a culmination of looking at and analyzing a lot of stock charts by way of either the hot stock search, the top of the VST in, in stock viewer, or even say the top Midas touch stocks is where the bulk of all of that happens. From time to time, we also dig into the Derby, you know, and pick a few stocks from there as well. 
All right, so with all that being said, that's where the stocks come from. So you know the market timing, you know where they come, where the stocks come from, and hopefully you also uh, already understand a little bit about what the stops are that we're using there. Okay, so if I come back to Unisearch here just quick, and we take this top stock, Enter Plus, if I right click and view the stock graph, and we go back to October the 14th, we'll see that this stock has really, for the bulk of the time, gone higher. If we look at the recommendation in, associated with the price movement at the top, you can see it's either been a buy or a hold this whole time. Okay, so both Profit Locker Pro by way of a nice loose stop on a stock that does have some pretty solid fundamental and technical uh, backing uh, is going to keep you in. And same situation really you know, with recommendation equals sell because we haven't had a sell you know, since purchase. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense and gives you a little bit more you know, under the hood there. Okay, good. So with all of that, let's go back to our trading system viewer and we'll quickly do, and it won't take long, I don't think at this stage, a comparison uh, of this one here. So it's the same market timing. It's the same stock selection. You know, they're being cherry picked by the staff here at VectorVest from the different areas in the program that I laid out. Uh, we publish them every night. We are gonna be buying 10 on the confirmed up. Right? And then the only difference with this one is we're going to use recommendation equals sell to sell them in the future. We are only going to replace them once again, as long as the confirmed up is still in place. If you're in a confirmed down, you don't replace. You just keep selling and trimming your basket of stocks, uh, potentially all the way down to no positions, depending on how big the downturn is. Okay. So if we come across, the metrics are similar and the overall results, as we'll see here in a minute, but have been different, and I'd say markedly so really over the last year. If you, if you look at the one year performance numbers, you'll see 35% there with recommendation equals sell over this last year. You'll see 58 uh, with Profit Locker Pro. Really over the last three months and one month, negligible differences there, not worth really discussing. Uh, but the performance as of late has been a bit stronger with Profit Locker Pro. That has been most recently, even though it's been at least three months back, uh, it's been the stronger of the two campaigns or two techniques. Okay, so with that being said, everything else works the same. You can come right in here to Trading System Details and see for yourself. The main difference here, of course, all positions will be closed when they receive a sell recommendation by way of VectorVest. Uh, equity curves, by and large, look very similar. And if we look at, say, the all-time result, you know, this one's keeping up pace pretty well so far. But it has, a lot of that pace was earlier on. It seemed to really accentuate the early drive off of the market lows. Okay. So we can see that and pick that up from all these performance metrics at the top. We can see, that some of that might be by nature of cutting stocks a little bit more quickly. Uh, so we're down to just three positions here and three pretty good ones, uh, considering where we are in the markets these days, especially since there's even more of an energy bias with what's left. Uh, but you know, here again, you have the ERF in there, uh, Canadian Natural Resources. And so both Recommendation Equal Sell and Profit Locker Pro Recommended Stop would have kept you in, in both of those positions in both in either system okay uh, so interesting to say the least all right let's come back up here to the top if you go to trading system rules you'll see they're exactly the same you know in a down we're just not replacing stocks so anything that we buy in a confirmed up it's still 10 positions we do automatically replace as long as you're in the up we do not replace if you're in a down uh, same 31 day rule and when entering the situation, you close any remaining positions out and reload with the 10 from the confirmed up call closing data. Okay, very simple. Now, how do I follow this going forward? Of course, you can just come in here into Trading System Viewer and see some nice metrics, follow it that way. Some of you may wish uh, to do what I like to do, uh, and that would be to come here, 
pick which one would be my favorite, right click or use the hot buttons above whichever and paper trade the portfolio in Portfolio Manager. So if we click that, we can start with either an empty portfolio. Now, if we do that now, it's truly gonna be empty and it's not gonna put any stocks in there. Why? We're gonna confirm down. So it's not gonna buy 10 stocks until the day after the night of the confirmed up call. Or you can just continue to follow the system as is, and that's usually what I would do in this case to, to get a true feel for how it's operating. So follow from the end and open portfolio now. It'll plug it right in there. It'll give you all the performance metrics that have been achieved. It'll give you the equity curve intact. It'll also have a function of reports that we'll get here uh, onto in a second. Uh, you'll see the stocks that currently reside within. If I go to the reports, I can then look at things like a summary report. So if I look at the summary report, one of the nice things that we noted earlier was the 54% winning trades, right? Uh, and so that's, of course, a nice metric to be achieved there. I can also see things, and here's where I talked about the one big winner was AMC, $41,000 return. Uh, so our biggest winner, way up there, our biggest loser, that's yeah, sizable, but when you compare one to the other, you will take that ratio every day of the week. Uh, if we continue to slide down here a bit further, you can see some other things. Uh, but one thing that's nice to see is we're staying dollar-weighted, across the positions as best we can. We're also fairly well diversified in most cases, even though that hasn't been a requirement. So just nice to see, just some simple observations there. All right, uh, with all of that, we could also look at trade history. And if we look at the trade history, we can look at things like our biggest winners, AMC, 212%, Fulgent, 112 PFMT, 66, 66, 65, 60, 55, 53, 53, 50, 46. Wowza. You go to the bottom, you do have to have some cast iron stomach on some of these trades uh, to stick with them, yeah? So 29, 25, 21. But contrast that with the ones at the top. What I see here is more green than red. And on the green, I see larger numbers than I see on the red. And so it's that simple, but you can go back and look at these charts uh, and do things like that. You can, of course, see when the trades were opened, when they were closed, what the net dollar return was, then the percentage, the initial price, the final price, the number of shares, initial cost, final cost, you know, just like a uh, brokerage report there. All right, good. So I hope that we've at least piqued your interest on these systems. I think they're going to be dynamic going forward. And we're going to have to be on our P's and Q's, make sure that we continue to pick some really great stocks, particularly on those confirmed updates, uh, mind you, right? So um, one final thing, there's not as much trading here as uh, one might have thought, right? So if I go back to the summary report, I meant to hit this earlier, you know, 91 trades is not all that many trades, particularly when you consider that we're buying 10 new ones on every confirmed up call. So for example, if I go back to the market timing graph here in just the last year alone, one, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 trades just on the confirmed calls. Yeah, so there is not as much turnover in there as one might have thought, which is terrific. So this is a system that I truly believe from what we've seen so far that really anyone can follow. And for those kind of returns, I think it's probably worth taking a stab. But that's me. Ultimately, you have to make some of these decisions for yourself. And so I'm also pleased to report just quickly, if you want to learn more about Profit Locker Pro, if you don't have Profit Locker Pro, it is an additional cost. More information can be found at www.profitlockerpro.com. Uh, so go on, hit that website. I've got a great introductory video there and just some more information uh, on Profit Locker Pro and a bit more about how it works. All right, so thanks for tuning in this week to our special presentation, and we'll see you right back here again next week. See you soon.